Welcome back to Seed Story Cup 4, guys. I'm standing here in front of the production room. I just read chat, and uh, all of you guys are, like, really hating on the overlay, and I can completely understand you guys, okay? We're going to actually go into the production room and check in with the producer what the hell he was thinking. I have no idea what he's going to say. I'm a little scared, but we'll find out. That's him right there. Hey, Mr. Producer. Hey. What the hell's up with that overlay, man? Why? What's, what's wrong? Chat doesn't like it. What the hell? Chat doesn't like the overlay. Let me check. Uh, hmm. Like I don't know. I, th I think it's very pretty. I invested a lot of work and time in this overlay, and um, I I think chat shouldn't be so hard on on me. You do see all the what faces in chat, right? You deserve to be punished for this. I, I saw them, but um, I, I asked my my mother, mother and. She said it's very, a very pretty overlay. Your mom said it was pretty. Are you going to cry now? Also, my, my friends all said it was a pretty dank overlay. So are you going to fix anything about this? Well, well no, that's the wrong button. Um, I thought about like switching the, the chair with another chair, but nothing else. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to be having anything fixed anytime soon. But we're going to have another match, so we're going to send it over to the couch with Powder, Gara, and Dalish. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm joined by my lovely co-casters, Alish and Powder. And we're going to cast the winner's finals match, yeah, I believe, finals. between yeah. Ardu and uh, Luis. No, Ardu and Vortex. Vortex. I just tested you guys. Uh, so, yeah. you guys are in the loop and... So, so my real question first is, what do you get you guys in punish the production? I think I think the overlay looks great, man. I think so too. I think it's pretty great. It's I, I, like it, it's pretty it's pretty cool, but I would still get you guys on it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just for the just for it, you know. It's like this whole Silent Hill, um, yeah, Kill Bills theme. Yeah, it's comics. It's cool. It's cool. But yeah, uh, next match is definitely yeah. Vortex uh, versus uh, RDU. So did you guys watch any of the games before? Yes, we did. Um, Adieu smoked. Yeah, down 3 -0. Oh yeah, 3-0. I saw that. And I think he played really well in all those three games. And top, Vortex... Top decking, some, some nice face smoke cards. Top decking and wrecking? Yes. And he actually played some really cool Hunter, right? He kind of played like hybrid, uh, but it was more smorky. Like it was... It was... It was very smoky, yes. Yeah. It's very new, new type of smork, I would say. Yeah. Um, and we just watched Vortex versus Alois. Um, what I do you think about it? I actually missed that game. I actually missed that game, so I don't know. There were like a lot of control mirrors going on, Patron Warrior versus Control Warrior, and Paladin. At the end of the day. Yeah. But what I've heard though, uh, when I joined Zelay and when I joined Firebat uh, with Alois, they were talking about it after the game, uh, that. Vortex was playing like a Nexus champion, um, Nexus Charade, Nexus yeah, Charade Nexus in his warrior, which is something we haven't seen. We've seen like Nexus Charade and Mage at the BlizzCon. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, Nexus Charade started out as a um, meme. As it, I mean, as a warrior card. Like mm -hmm. the first deck it became popular was in was when Kit Kats brought it into Control Warrior. Um, so I mean. I don't know if we haven't seen it before. It just doesn't get played that much because the card is kind of random. I think yeah. I think also that you nowadays it's very hard to find a spot for a card like this. Like when you build control warrior, like what do you cut for a card like this? I would rather play like a sludge belt or like a Sylvanas, those yeah, like for sure. very strong power cards on curve. And also like to, to find room for a card like Nefarian, what Vortex is playing. I was thinking about what would you cut? Yeah, he plays Nefarian and Ysera. Like for, yeah, you're like a warrior player yourself. Like, what would you cut for a card like Nefaria nowadays? It feels like there's no room. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess you can cut like a six drop, but Shield Maiden is super broken. So yes. that's kind of like hard. Um, I mean, you can cut some small minions like a Taskmaster, for example. Um, some people run like Revenge. You can cut that. Uh, cutting one Acolyte is definitely okay right now. Uh, but running like all those stuff, I don't really see it in the current meta with like Paladin, Druid. Like you don't need Nefarian in any matchup, so I don't really see that card being super useful. 
It's so, definitely too slow. Yeah. So, yeah, but we can jump into the first match actually, and it's going to be Druid uh, from Vortex against Arduce Warrior. Yeah. What do you think about the matchup? So I, th I thought actually like you know in, in the past Druid was really favorite, like, not really favorite, but it was favorite. But since you've been cutting some cards for like Darnus Aspirant, which is not really great against Warrior if they have a fiery War X, the matchup kind of became really really even. Yeah, I actually think a lot of Druids don't know how to play the matchup now. Um, there's a, there's some some things you're not supposed to be like you're just not supposed to be doing against Control Warrior like. For instance, keeping Darnassus in your opening hand against Control Warrior, it's probably the incorrect move. Yeah, because Warrior will always keep Vorex now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Of for sure. It's like the mind games. And like, you, you, just, you just want to mulligan for wild growth. Also, don't you feel like the matchup is way better now for Control Warrior? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You beat like Druid way easier. Yeah. I actually think like in practice, I have a very, very good winner against Druid with Control yeah. Warrior. Also, rank one legend is also like a Colent right now with Control Warrior. Yeah, Control. yeah I think it like, was actually really something interesting, right? Kit Kats, uh, one of the most known for Control Warrior. He was once doing a stream against Shaw. They've been like practicing this matchup for like a long time, and it seemed that like the matchup is pretty even. And sometimes Warrior had like a better win rate. Yeah. Against the Druid. What do you think about playing Esprint over Wildgrove? Um, I actually like it in this situation just because you don't have a play like Next a turn, turn four play. Mm -hmm. Like if you have Shredder, I'm I'm sure that he would have played uh, Wild Growth instead. But now you can still innovate out your Ancient of Lore. Like Next there would, turn. it was yeah. just gonna be like it just fits your mana better. And if he didn't have War Axe, you were in a pretty good spot. Yeah, the reason why I like the Wild Growth more is because it makes it awkward for the opponent if you play Wild Growth into a sprint. Then he has to equip the Vorex in, in free if he doesn't equip it. Yeah, I mean, that's true also. Yeah. He does miss, uh, like, one mana crystal. But that's for Warrior, it doesn't really matter as, as much as in other classes. So, so the yeah. hand kind of sucks from the Druid a little bit. Yeah, like, the Druid usually wants to put a pressure on board, which uh, this was kind of a slow start, right? We've seen the Darkness Suspran, but the, this is the Asian of Lore, is actually the first card that he. Been, he's been playing, and uh, Ardu can deal with the Asian. I World mean, I'm, War? I'm pretty sure he's gonna play Bash yeah. here, right? You bash, attack exactly. in and then you Bash. Uh, it's just it's pr pretty it's solid too good. play. Yeah, exactly. You make up some armor for next turn if you want to Shield Slam. Yeah. Uh, you still have that minion which can draw your cards or use it for execute, you know, damage. Uh, so this is this is pretty 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 good for Ardu right now. Innervate. That's definitely not what he wanted to see. Almost, almost looking sad to see that. Yeah, I mean, Vortex's hand is actually pretty bad. We've seen two Force of Natures. Uh, this card is gonna be totally useless unless there's Savage Roar. But still, then you can use only one. So probably one Force of Nature will be used as a removal later on. And Vortex, but needs to like build a board first, right? So he needs to play the Pilot Shredder and probably silence the Acolyte, but still not something he wants to do. I mean, I guess this is this is was the only play you mm. could do, right? Yeah. I and mean, you could have maybe played, like, Darnassus instead of Innervating, but you're, you're never unhappy to uh, silence an Acolyte in the Warrior matchup. You, you really need Angel of Law in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, like, he did yeah. have it, though, but he just doesn't have any other good minions. Yeah, like. I mean, in general, to win this. Like, nowadays, I feel like if you don't yeah, yeah. draw both floors, yeah, yeah, for sure. you will just run out of cards. Yeah. Or he has so much heal. Like, it's it's very, very unlikely you can kill him in turn 9. Mm. And also now, we can see that, like, the silence that was oh. used last turn yeah. now is missing for the Sylvana that came on the board. Uh, at least he got a minion here. Yeah. I mean, it could have been so much worse, but it's still hard to play this, knowing that, oh, he has a Sylvanas on board. Okay, so do you do you play Darnas as a sprint and trade into Sylvana, say, and hope your opponent steals the Darnas? I, I would force and hope he claw? steals the Treant. Yeah, I would force, <laughs> yeah. too, for sure. You have two in your hand. Why, why wouldn't you force? No, it makes it even more awkward. Maybe, yeah. He can probably trade everything in next turn, but still. Hmm. He, he, I mean, might, he might go full Spark. He might go, yeah. The, the Force of Nature there, uh, with a Savager or top deck, it might be just lethal if uh, Ardu is not... Are, are we one of those guys that are going to like uh, point out this beautiful Shredder placement? I'm going <laughs> to do it now every single time. Uh, okay. 
You believe in always, it? always put it in the in middle, middle Twitch exactly. chat. Always, always put always. it in the middle. There's no Argus in this deck. No. There's no Flame Tongue Totem in this deck. No. Except in the Shredder. Except from the Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dire Wolf Alpha. True, true. Okay, so we see the Sylvanas attacking. Uh, Brawl it's coming out. Brawl before attacking into the 4 3. Yeah, he attacked it. That seems into the a little face. bit Ooh. <laughs> That's the worst one. And there's the know. Flame Tongue, by the way, but does it steal oh, their Nasus? Of course, right, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was stupid there because the Sylvanas was played afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty good card. Like, if he can draw into, like, Savage Roar and then the second Innervate, he might win the game. No, no, he already played two Innervates. One for the lore and one That's for true. the uh, another four drop. That's true. So, I mean, it can stick on the board, but it's really unlikely, right? So, I mean, whatever gets played here just gets heal slammed. And then Warriors in a good spot again. Or Bash, uh, Death Spite. What do, what do you think about charging the Druid of the Claw? Yeah, the that's what I was just trying to point out, maybe. That, like, if Vortex would no. feel desperate, he could just go for the face, put 60 damage on. But you're playing against Warrior, right? Warrior is going to get his armor back. So it's if, really If greedy. you're going to charge the Druid of the Claw, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to charge it face. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would definitely go face. Face is the place. Face is Smork, definitely the place. If you want to race. <laughs> So there's some possibilities like Shield Maiden, Shield Slam. Uh, you let the fair, like one Flame Tank Totem on board, but it doesn't really matter that much. No, it doesn't really yeah. matter. I mean, sounds pretty good, right? It's like it's the dream play on turn seven against Druid Shield Maiden, Shield Slam on a on an Asian of Lore, mm -hmm. or in this case, a uh, Emperor. Yeah, but well, Ardu can also do. He can go for a bash and dead spite uh, play. You don't want to take seven yeah. damage though. No, 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 no. He would just uh, kill Darnassus aspirant. Nah, uh, and you just wait. He's doing it. He's doing it. Um, I mean, it sets up for. Oh, he's gonna kill off his Darnassus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I don't like uh, about this is that I mean, Shield Maiden gives you. Minion board, right? He, he can spawn. He can spawn a whole, whole forest this turn. Pogchamp. Pogchamp. Six trees. Uh, are you desperate enough to play the keeper? Uh, just so you have a minion on board. And yes. He I, played th I, think, I think you are desperate yeah. enough. Probably. He, he played Sylvanas and he played Acolyte. What do you need to keep him for? You need to get the pressure out. Your whole damage is burst. Like your whole hand is burst damage. He played already one lore. Yeah, and if your plan was like, oh, he has to attack into my. Uh, my Druid of the Claw to kill it. Like, he's gonna be in range for combo if he draws Savage Roar. But obviously, he, well, he actually can't. Like, this is kind of an awkward turn. But now, when you drew the Fear War Axe, it kind of becomes a little bit clearer, right? Mm -hmm. You just Fear War Axe, Ex execute, execute, and then attack the 4 2 4 or 2 3. Seems pretty good. Or he can tank up. <laughs> tank up. But I mean, you can't kill the. I mean, yeah. If if you could kill the four six with the shield made in shield slam, obviously you would do it. But not the case. Not the case right now. The bash would be useful now, though, <laughs> if he had it still. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't see any other play. No, and he he sees it. I mean. Yeah, fire war execute attack tank up. Tank up. Tank up pass. Tank up pass. That well, was that was the right play, right? That was well played. Then you, you had the whirlwind for the ex execute for the next target. Whole oh. forest whole forest hype. And this And then you wrath one of them for a card. Whole forest hype. I mean you might I actually like, think that's like the spread. only way yeah. you win. I agree. You you force of nature, wrath for one, draw savage roar, and then you draw the second savage roar next turn. <laughs> I mean, it might be possible to do it like that. But uh, is, is that... It's the only way, yeah, I agree. I mean, he can also have some comebacks that's with Asian of Lore. That's 28 damage. You can do it, Vortex. He's on 21. He wants to spawn the forest. It will be exact lethal. If like, that happens, it's exact lethal. I can feel it. Do it. That's actually one over. Oh. He's not man enough. 
So yeah, what t does it tell to RDU? All right, he played both innovates already. He has 10 mana, hero power pass. No, just tank up, right? I mean, you can play Maiden. It's tanking up as well. <laughs> Someone has a combo in his hand. Yeah. I mean, I guess he, he also realizes like the only way he wins here is if he can get both of his Force of Natures off with Savage Roar to his opponent's face. The chance of that happening, though, is pretty low. But it would be kind of funny if Savage Roar is the next two cards in his deck. And he could have won if he just Force of Nature's Wrath for one. I mean, if he if there's a Savage Roar, he still has 24, right? Over two turns. It's yeah, but now it's not lethal anything. anymore because he can hero, up, hero power up one more turn. I'm just waiting for the first player to top deck Dr. Boom and just Oh, swing. no, it's still no, lethal. It's still, it's still, it's still lethal because lethal. you have uh, Force yeah. of Nature on discount. Yeah. Oh. Okay, swipe. Well, so this is a pretty can, good card. Yeah, yeah at he least can, he can wrath for one. Yeah, he can wrath, a swipe, uh, boom, draw. Right? Shredder would be really nice. Oh, mm. that, that's that's a card. That's better. Uh, I mean, you he could so? play. You know, Shredder would, would be swipe. better. I yeah. would swipe. Yeah, I think you swipe here. You can just do it next turn. Come on, Gar. Yeah. So I mean, RD's hand is actually kind of like. Doing nothing. He has he removals. Needs a minion. Yeah, exactly. He there has are, but there are, He hasn't played like any of his bombs yet. He's bound to draw into Oh, oh. called it! There Dr. we go. Back to Boom. Talk to Boom top deck and completely swings the game. Easy. Okay. So, what and Vortex needs is probably like big game under of the Age of Lord. Age of Lord, BGH, easy. Easy yeah. game, easy life. Easy game. So, there's Wrath. a rat and it doesn't help and it's oh, a Savage Shore. Almost. That's interesting card, but not right now. Do you Wrath for one? I think you might. Um, or do I mean, you, you actually you will probably you need it, right? Do you? Uh, you might need to use like a Force of Nature, Savage Roar. Then you might want to save it because then you actually finish off Boom with one Savage Roar. Oh, he doesn't kill the Boom bot. That's kind of strange. Yeah, I don't think that, that one damage matters that much. No. Right now. No, oh, Shield Block tanking up That's again. That's fine. Belcher and the Belcher is, is really good. But he's not... Why wouldn't he just... He's executing? He's, he's trying to bombs, and if it doesn't work, he yeah, just executes. Yeah, execute. Yeah. It's mm, fine. It's good. He it's was also kind of representing a second swipe with not attacking the boom bot. Okay, mm -hmm. so... That didn't yeah, I can, I can see that. Is this just game? I mean, not this turn, but... Yeah, it's game. It's pretty much game, right? BG BGH throw a riot. Yeah, it's I basically... Mean, uh, if, yeah, he, yeah. if he does draw BGH, though, he's actually in a good spot. He can yeah. play a 5-drop mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that's actually really good. Because, yeah, just red for one. He has, BGH, like, 12 cards good. left, 11 cards left. I mean, 10% chance. We don't even know if he plays it. Oh, full force! Oh, is he forcing to kill the Belcher? He can kill oh. the boom. Oh, okay. He can he can clear like, everything except the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, he can okay, just so about attack, do it. red for one, right? That's the big best secret. Oh, if he yeah. if he draws BG, no. oh my god, if he draws BGH uh, now, yeah. the 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 that would be punished. That yeah. was that was like the worst sequencing in the history of Cardstone. Yeah, if he's gonna wrath for one anyway, so why wouldn't you do Might it first? Draw first. Draw first, kids. So RDU isn't really out of the woods yet. He draws only an armor smith. And draw draw was also so clutch as well, right? Like what? to draw BGH. Like if he would have ref yeah, one yeah, and drew yeah, the yeah, BGH, yeah. it would have changed the whole game. Yeah. Like he could then uh, force of nature just to remove the bell trend and you leave. Oh, one card, one almost. Card of. But it's still gonna be useful. Yeah. Um, hmm. Feels bad, man. I kind of liked playing the low tab. Yeah, low tab and drew the claw. You know, Maybe. this is like one of those perfect scenarios. Usually, Control Warrior kills a Druid to fatigue nowadays. It's crazy. Like a normal yeah. Control Warrior deck just can fatigue a Druid. As we just saw, I think um, Vortex has only like seven cards left in Oh, it's lethal. Oh, oh, never mind. Taskmaster for the GG. Maybe there's Not a much little, little bit of a Yeah, he would have lost most likely, anyways. Yeah, he would have. With Lothab, anyways. Uh, the only play that would have saved him was Force of Nature. Okay. But who could have, like, who would ever do this? Then he would have died to fatigue, guaranteed. Yeah. Definitely, he would not have the first potential. So RDU takes game one with 
control warrior over druid. And yeah, this is something that we've been seeing lately much, much more. Like the matchup, as we already said on the beginning of the game, right? The mm. matchup used to be bad uh, mm. for warrior, but I think Justicar, Bashes, you know, those cards helped the matchup a lot. Yeah, it's a classic matchup we saw like since ancient history of Hearthstone: warrior versus druid, the eternal battle. The and eternal battle. Eternal battle. Just that warrior is like way stronger now. Uh, against Ruid than, than it used yeah. to be. I actually just think it's the it's the Darnassus. Like you cut two such good bombs, like you cut like Ragnaros. Yes. And like a five drop for two two drops. And oftentimes even BGH. Oftentimes you cut BGH in, in mid range Ruid just to make it like more consistent. You think so? Against all the aggro I've decks and stuff. I've never seen that. Yeah. I oh yeah. Never, I would never oh, cut BGH. Like, uh, for example, even a, not now. Not against aggro Druid. There's no way you cut BGH against Felry. Not against Agrodreed, but there was a long time that you didn't play it for max consistency. Anyways. 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 What? Resident Sleeper, boys. Did we just jump into a game and then out? Resident Sleeper. And then back in. So let's tank up first five turns, right? Is it Lena? I mean, good. I, I do agree with Vortex picking the Warrior because... This is probably the only matchup where Nefarian, Ysera, Nexus Rod Warrior is like favored. Exactly. Like the way that this uh, deck is built, right? Like Vortex's deck is really greedy. Yeah. And if you have a greedy deck in a Warrior matchup, I mean, the we, deck we is actually win. don't know what he cut, so. But actually, it seems greedy. We, we will see a lot of tank up in this game. Let's talk about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> How do you how do you nice enjoy transition. how do you, how do you enjoy Germany powder? I think it's nice. Do you think it's nice? Why? This apartment is amazing. This apartment? Yes. I haven't left the apartment yet. You haven't? I actually haven't been to my hotel room. <laughs> That's been, how amazing this you've event been is. You've been playing poker the whole time. Yeah. It's just you just don't want to leave, you know. It's so great. You just don't want to leave. Yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, definitely, like, compared to the old one, I mean, the old one was, like, more cozy, and it was, like, you know, more family-like, but this is, like, a huge studio, and you, mm -hmm. everything is cool. Love it. So when are we going to start seeing minions, guys? It's like... Now? We are, like, five minutes in, still tanking up. Mm -hmm. Risen Sleeper, baby. I think that Vortex is actually favorite, because he has the greediest deck I've seen so far in the tournament. Yeah. But, okay. I mean, he plays Belcher. Pretty standard on five. What do you do as? Uh, yeah, okay. But Vortex does. Vortex is next to Sarat. Does he not play Belchers? No, there's no way he plays Belchers. Yeah, there's no space probably. I there's mean, he no has. Space. Yeah, he has Sarad. No space. Go I mean, face. No space. He go might face. play one. But like, what didn't you cut? Do you cut Shale Maidens? I don't know. Don't RDU, know RDU is curving out pretty aggressively here. That's pretty good. Like if you if you draw the cards to go aggressive, also you draw a tank up. Yeah. Early, you always want to play tank up when you can. But Vortex also has it, so it's not going to be like a super blowout with the amount of uh, armor. But he doesn't have a good way of dealing with this. Yeah, and this is actually can be a huge trouble for RD, uh, for Vortex because. I mean, he can kill the Belcher, but then there's a 6-3 that you can't go through with your weapon. Ah, uh, you know what we haven't seen? I don't think, like, we haven't seen bashes, maybe one bash, and uh, no slam. I think he cut those flexible removal cards. As we can see, he's missing them right now. Like, yeah. a bash would be juicy, right? Yeah, a bash would Definitely. be perfect. But, I mean, I don't think I would ever coin out the Berengen here. Yeah, that I would attack, play uh, Unstable Ghoul. That's interesting. Interesting is a word for it. Yeah. I mean, I guess he has to trade into it. It's kind of what Vortex is hoping here. Like, that he has to Wh trade. Why did he not kill the slime? So oh, he, he could, I mean, he, he, yeah, he could have. I, th I think he should, I think have. He should have, I think, because... Uh, it takes two, da three damage, like, who cares? Uh, okay, let's assume Ardu... I mean, Ardu knows he has no answer. That was just like a, like a, what the fuck was this play? Yeah. Then you just kill the Baron Geddon and go face for six. Exactly. Like, how, how does uh, Vortex get rid of it now? If like, if he just shield slam it, like. I mean, in this case, he would just play Unstable Ghoul. Yeah, but. Like, but who actually plays that card in Control <laughs> Warrior? I would sh shield slam that shit. What now? I don't know. Six damage face, bro. I don't know, Kev. 
I think shield time is pretty good here. Shield? He can even BGH. BGH like, is fine. Yeah. I like, like the he BGH more than yeah, shield time. Mm -hmm. I would BGH it as well. Yeah, I, I was think just I testing too. you. I just want to see how good you are as control warriors okay. to say. BGH puts more pressure, and are you seen that uh, Warden actually had problems? And he plays low with Feb. That's also a very, very strange unstable, card in yeah. the control warrior. I don't know what matchup he wants that in. I mean, I don't. I can screw it. Okay, so this is the play. Like, I think if. Uh, Wartex wanted to do this, he should have replaced the weapon first and then attack with the Dead Spite so he can have the... Yeah, I actually kind of like that more. Yeah. Because so. now you know that the 4-2 is going to be a 4-1. Exactly, and you, again, don't have a way to remove it. What would he give for a Baron Geddon now? <laughs> right now. Yeah, but that's kind of why you played the Unstable Ghoul. It didn't allow him to do stuff like this. And then you could play the uh, Baron Geddon afterwards. So you attack with the 6-1. Yes. I guess you play Acolyte first. Yes. Maybe Might even well draw uh, Armor Smith. Probably also Taskmaster. You think so? Make like it a 3-1? Yeah. Just draw cards? Yeah. Maybe. Now it's a good... I would not shield slam that, that's for sure. I mean shield block. Why would you shield block this turn? Like the only thing is you don't actually want to draw that many cards because in this matchup. But he's so aggressive right now. He wants yeah. the Grommage as soon as possible. That's, I mean, this will not I, go to I, would, I would definitely play Acolyte there, but I can see like the reasoning behind not doing it, but it's probably wrong also, in no. this scenario. I mean, he, he saw Vortex's deck, it's super greedy, you know yeah, you, yeah. Will, you will lose a Fatigue War 100%, so you want to draw the cards yeah, now yeah, yeah. and just go for it. Yeah, yes, for sure. By the way, here we get to the thing that Vortex now had to tank for more damage yeah. because of the Death Bite not yeah. attacking with last time. He could have cleared the board for one damage, then played uh, just a car on an empty board. And also, Adios' uh, board would be now much stronger with the 3-1 Acolyte on board and the Armorsmith on board. He had yeah, way yeah, more yeah. pressure. Yeah, yeah. Now now it really gives Vortex the time to stabilize and to force it to fatigue, and that will Ardu lose for sure. So Ardu can here be really greedy, by the way. He can go for Ysera and hope Vortex yeah, doesn't have a removal. He should definitely go yeah. Ysera here. There's because no question. The reason why I like Ysera so much also is that because uh, Ardu, even though he didn't see any removals yet, uh, but it looked like Vortex didn't have any. Uh, um, so Adieu is really pushing this to a late game, right? With this playstyle? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he's, is weird. he's got his opponent down to 14 health. And now he can even play Nefarian, man. Oh, one, two. That's so greedy, though. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. I That's mean, he's so seen BGH. Greedy. It's not that greedy. Uh, I mean... It's kind of, yeah, it kind of is. He's not afraid of dying. It can pay up. Or you go for your Nexus play. Yeah, Nexus seems kind of safe. Nexus, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, shouldn't you be afraid of dying, though? Yeah. Like if you tank no, up better. here, if, yeah, it is better to tank yeah. up. You don't mm -hmm. die to Grom. Yeah, then you die to oh. nothing. Repentance is an interesting <laughs> card. Oh. Ah. It's actually really good. It, it doesn't. Like, it makes him not being able to play Ysera. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. You know, and there's like a lot of secrets to play in this scenario, like Redemption, for example. Yeah, you would definitely play Redemption. Or or get down as well. You're like ah, he, he doesn't. He can't yeah, you would. Me. You would play get down. Almost every secret you would play here. Yeah. Over probably any two drop that a warrior has. Even if he would sh shield slam it. Oh my oh god. No. Is it happening? Don't. Please, please oh do it. God. Please do it. Please do it. P just, just for the reaction. You know, I want to see his face. First shield slam first, you know? I want to see his face. I really want to see oh his face. It looks like it. I mean, you might as well test for repent. I mean, redemption, right? Tishit is right. Slam first. It's not eye for an eye. I mean, it's not no, Noble Sacrifice. No. Oh, never lucky. We could have had some funny moments here. Oh, uh, it would have been so much funnier if it was Aegisera. Uh, okay, so here comes the Shield Slam. It's the first Shield Slam I think we've seen Execute to be played as well. No, oh, it was the, this was last game, right? Uh, so it was actually first removal for RDU yep. to be played. Vortex is in such a good position. He actually is. Mm -hmm. He just needs like one more removal for yeah, he, he wins needs, the late game. He needs a way to deal with the Ysera. But he will always have minions on board now he can trade in and now he has the Grommage as it well. It depends. He if he decides to play Nefarian now, which is probably the wrong play, 
Yeah, you don't play that. You draw more cards, man. Cards oh. are fun. How many cards does like yeah, you kind of you kind of have to figure like, oh, RDU is one taking one. this to the late game. I'm already down to eleven, and I'm thirty armor behind. Like I don't really want to be drawing three cards off my acolyte. It really depends how many cards actually Vortex and uh, RDU have in their cards. Yeah, but I'm pretty Nine sure index. that uh, it's RDU pretty is similar. Is it? They haven't drawn that many cards. I think RDU is really a little bit at least. Uh, RDU had played one. Sh okay. Oh, that's I don't like that. Also, like he, he can get something good off the fairy mm, though. Sure, buddy. So what is it? Slam. Slam. Again? Oh, no. He got rampage. He got rampage last page. game. Yeah, last game yeah, he yeah. got rampage. <laughs> So here comes the Sarah Shield Slam, and Vortex will need a removal for the Sarah. Yeah, I mean he can brawl. Wait, can you only he rampage? Can, can you only rampage your own minions? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, so Shield Block is a card. I mean, Slam is a card as well. Uh, but the thing is, like, draw. do you actually slam, or do you just play Armor Smith Acolyte Brawl? <laughs> I like how you have us over a tank up. Oh, a tank up is pretty juicy. I mean, I think you can slam first. I would brawl. You can still brawl and go for 50 50. But now like it's the 50, 50 50. 60 33 isn't that much of a difference. What? It's like, what? I mean, 16%, right? One in three instead of one in two? It's not that much of a difference. Ah, it's pretty big. Like, okay, so in one, one in two, you lose the game. In, Automatically, like in a big tournament like this. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I'm pretty on the, sure on you the just other take hand, on the, the other hand, right? Like uh, he could have drawn here double two executes. He could, he could have, have uh, Dude, two shield slams. He I mean, could have. Yeah, but it's like bigger odds for that. Actually. Dude, mm. if 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 Twitch there had are four removals in the deck. If, oh there my you go. god! If Twitch, there you go. It's, if Twitch had teach me one thing is. It's always 50%. It's always 50%. <laughs> Either you kill it or you don't. Okay? Okay. okay. It's always 50%. Okay. Amaz math. Sounds good. Yeah, that's actually why I like this play, though. Because um, what what Vortex did, he had four removals in his decks, right? Two executes, two shield slams. So if you have a two a two draws and you have only 14 <laughs> oh, cards in your shit. deck, uh, you're probably going to draw into that removal. Yes. I think that Ardeus approach was weird. Yeah, I think. I mean, we have we have seen Ardeus next draws, and it hasn't been Gromash, yes. but I definitely don't like him not drawing cards off of his acolyte. Maybe, maybe he was playing at the same time. I, di I didn't get a chance to see I mean, Vortex's deck. If you look at the decks, you can see the RDU has more cards left. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Now. But he can't stall the game anymore. Like he has Sylvanas left in execute, and he might draw like two more cards. So it's fourteen for RDU, twelve for Vortex, right? I think. Right now, you think because, so? Yeah, Vortex. Uh, look at RDU's deck. Oh, it's 14, 14, 12. 12 yeah, All right, yeah. perfect. As I mentioned, Ardu has like two two more draws, and Vortex has an entire Hearthstone collection in his hand. Mm -hmm. Like it might even be worth attacking in with your Armor Smith into the Acolyte, Acolyte here. Yeah, I like it. Ardu has such a small small hand that giving him one extra card doesn't do that much. Like with your Mega Hand, like. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this. No, I, I, this is fine too. Yeah. It like, allows you to make him like he has to trade into the Belcher, which is kind of weird. Uh, if he wants to draw one card, or you can make him draw more. Okay, now it's not weird anymore. Yeah. So that's why it's a really good pickup here. Um, you can, but then you don't want to play Sylvanas. You want to keep Sylvanas for later, right? So, on the other hand, like RDU has 72 health. <laughs> he can wait some time, I guess. Uh, what okay. does, what does Why that? wouldn't you draw first with the Acolyte? Uh, I don't know. So he doesn't want to draw many cards? He, he, because he doesn't want to give one more armor to your opponent, I guess. He hates draws? <laughs> I guess. I do hate cards. Maybe, maybe there's no draw in his deck that would, would change, wouldn't change his play. So. Mm. But why does he not draw more cards? He needs cards. Yeah, he does. I don't, I don't really get he it. Do, he, he doesn't have cards. He's going to play Sylvanas? No? No, 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 he's, no. Gonna he's gonna play Yeah, that's why, that's why I'd kill it in tank up. But how does he beat the Mega Hand? Mm. He doesn't. Yeah. But he that he already like ruined his chances many turns ago. Yeah, I think this was the problem, right? Like a long, at the long beginning. time ago. 
I can still remember that RTU could have went uh, aggressive and he decided not to. Yeah, that's pretty good here. Reven uh, Rampage. Rampage. His slime it's can be a big good. slime. He can grow up to be as his daddy. Yeah. So you play attack, rampage, hero power, and low tap, I guess. Yes, exactly. Hero and tank up, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> That's not even a question. Obvious. <laughs> Every time tank up. Opponent has 45 armor, you gotta start contesting. And it drew into another execute, which is kind of key. Uh, if yeah, Savannah looks pretty no good here. And yeah. Well, definitely in our It does deck, die though, but yeah, it gets rid of two minions. Gets, yeah, it clears two minions. But I think uh, Ardu has only like one shield slam in his deck and execute in his end, right? Uh, Vortex still has one shield slam. He has two executes in his end. So um, plus Vortex has more cards. So this is going to be actually pretty pretty hard. For RD to do something, and also we see Vortex has a big BGH, right? Yeah. So so many removals, and I mean, even though RD didn't have, haven't played a lot of his big stuff yet, uh, a lot of his big stuff is just gonna die. So what are you thinking about here? He might think just he wants to give his opponent Equine. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I like it. Why would you? Okay, he gets lucky. Mm -hmm. But I like I like the play, but I would have just given him the acolyte, not the 50-50. Yeah, you're so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. Like, but yeah, bother yeah. you, right? Yeah, I agree. And I mean, if acolyte actually survives on your board, it hurts you a lot. Yeah. So, I agree. I mean, a lot. I don't know about, but it definitely does hurt. I mean, you're already uh, behind, right? And is BGH. that the second BGH? Yeah, yeah. it is the second BGH. Interesting. Interesting. So both tagged like for this matchup, but in a different way. I mean, second BGH must be tagged towards handlock. <laughs> Obviously, but it's also good in control warrior. Yeah, it's also good against those feral spirits. I mean, uh, not feral spirits. Feral spirits. <laughs> against the, um, the five five for the druid place. Yeah, yeah. Fell reaver. Fell reavers. Yeah, there we go. I play cards. I know cards. Kappa. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so there's a brawl. I like the brawl. Yeah. Hopefully he gets rid of the Brokka Boom. And he doesn't. He doesn't. So but he, he has a BGH. The, yeah, he gets yeah. to play BGH. I got the beast in my side. There should not be much left in Audio's deck in terms of big minions. No, for sure. Just Grimash, I think. Yeah, Grimash. Maybe Alex Straza. Uh, yeah, probably not that many. There could be like Strasa, yes. Mm -hmm. This matchup is actually making me resident sleeper over here. Need to sit up. Wait, have you wait, have you slept? No. You haven't slept at all, right? No. So you're like awake for like thirty hours right now? More. Okay. Sounds good, man. I tried to stay up for my flight. Um uh, right, I did stay up for my flight, which left at nine AM. Uh not yesterday but two days ago. Mm -hmm. So I've been up for like forty eight hours. Slept Two hours on the plane rides. So my body is ready to uh, go to sleep. But you're playing tomorrow, right? Yeah, so yeah. That that, yeah. I'm gonna dream sweet dreams about drawing uh, Mysterious Challenger on six, Dr. Boom on seven, and Tyrion on eight. And then I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so, Ardu can get rid of the Belcher with his Dead Spite, but. That's pretty like good. How, how do you kill your opponent? I mean, now that he has over 30 health again, um, you probably have just the Gromash, which is about 14 damage or 10 damage or 12. It depends how you rock it, right? Uh, it's kind of... Ardu is just going to probably lose, right? I mean, the Fatigue looks pretty same as well. Yeah, I mean, he is 30 armor ahead, though. You can't <laughs> underestimate that. Yeah. Yeah, but like, sure, there's a Ysera now coming on the board that will get executed. And uh, like, the thing about Vortex, like, he, he used his removal pretty efficiently. Mm -hmm. Like He still has Shield Slam in that Vortex. Yeah, and yeah. RDU doesn't have that many threats left, right? Mm -hmm. 
Like no, can't... just Gromash, I think, as a big minion. Gromash and probably Alexstrasza, maybe. And yeah, yeah, okay. So, he, I mean, he's gonna need it, but... And he's two executes. I still can definitely see him losing. Yeah. It's too much life difference. Yeah. It's like 50 life difference. The only the only thing is that Alexstrasza is gonna be completely irrelevant. Like, maybe... I mean, in the, it's like... That's kind of a... No, I, I guess RD just wins. Does he? Like, he can use Alexstrasza just to heal himself in the fatigue race. The thing There's is, so the, many the, things. The thing is, though... Uh, They're gonna Vortex be on so high fatigue or what? Doesn't Vortex still have, like, some threats in his deck, right? I he mean, has Dr. Boom. Like, yeah. Dr. I mean, Boom. we don't know what he cut. He could have yeah. cut Dr. Boom. Who knows? Oh, my. No, no, no. You cannot cut Dr. Boom. I actually played without Dr. Boom for like three weeks in tournaments and stuff without yeah. knowing. Warrior? Then I was Warrior? like, <laughs> yeah. And then I, then I was comparing lists like, oh, there's one. You played this card. I played this card. What, which card did I. Like some, yeah. Which card did you cut? Yeah. And then he's just like, you're not playing Dr. Boom. Oh, my God. And I've been playing this list for like three weeks. Oh, did you perform well in those tournaments? Yeah, fine. Okay. But I was always like, when when you were thinking like in the fatigue. I wish I like would... no. It's like, hmm, have I played my Doctor Boom yet? <laughs> they must be one of my last cards. But no, I haven't played my last Fairy War X, and then it just doesn't come, and you're so sad. I think if Vortex loses this game, it really goes back to the very weird Baron Geddon turn. Yeah, where he took way too much. Yeah, he also had to invest way too many cards to get rid of the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think RDU played it well in the beginning, where he just went full full as a mark. And there's the boom. So. But he has brawl and yeah, he has brawl and BGH. Game. But if he decides to go for BGH, and Dream sucks from all the. If this would be like any minion. No, Dream is good. Why? Dream is good because you can uh, grow. You can dream back your Gromash. For more damage. Uh, 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 for what? For more damage. He has freaking... <laughs> no, but the thing is, like... Uh, you can tickle him. It, it's always gonna get executed. You can tickle him twice. You can... I mean... You can you can get more bullets. If you call 12 damage tickle... Yeah, it's tickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what, what is 12 damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a yeah. cool story, tickle bro. Him. You can tickle I him. I mean, if you this. have 80 HP... 12 damage is not that much, but still a lot. I mean, yeah. find another minion that does 12 damage. Okay, so there's a Brawl here, and if Dr. Boom survives again, the Brawl, no. Well, at least it's not uh, the 2-2. Yeah. Oh, 3 damage to face, so lucky. Actually, but the I... thing is that the... Uh, does, has he seen the Warrior? He hasn't seen the Warrior from RDU, so you're not really going to expect the second PGH, right? Mm -hmm. That's a bad card. It's a terrible card. I mean, you still tank up. But Wait, is what, does, what does Vortex still have in his deck, right? Like, he has... Uh... He should have some Shield Maidens and stuff, right? No, he probably cut those, right? Like, how do you fit the rest? Oh, you, you, you talked about Vortex. Oh, yeah, I was Vortex. Thinking, I was thinking yeah, yeah. RDU. You um, haven't seen Belt? He has Alexstrasza. Yeah, Alex Alexstrasza, if he plays it... Um, that armor Smith, help. that's terrible. Yeah, Armor Smith is totally... But Alexstrasza could help, because then you... I mean, uh, he lower has RDU's There's no health. way you win without Alexstrasza. Yeah. I mean, you if he doesn't run Alexstrasza, he should have surrendered, like... A while. Yeah, 20 minutes ago. This matchup will always go to fatigue. Let's be serious. Yeah, I mean, RDU tried his best. He tried his best to kill him. Okay. So there's a Baron Gaddy. There's a Baron. Uh, Baron isn't too bad. Does, do, ah, do that it's much. pretty bad. Yeah, doesn't do that much. War Axe okay. is pretty terrible. So do you attack with it? Probably not, right? Like, you need to depends. keep every resource. I guess it depends on yeah. what cards you have left. I think uh, Vortex already played all of his weapons, apart from this one, so you definitely Are keep Are you it. sure about that? He definitely played two dead spikes, definitely. No, 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 all of the weapons, because he had all the weapons in his starting right. hand. Yeah. And then uh, we That's were kind of That's a good surprised. card. Yeah, That's what definitely. you want to see. And the good, the good thing about it is, is also that, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be killed with a death bite just yet. I think you play the armor so. smith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he agrees with me. So do we see from R, do you like hit with the weapon and then Baron get him? Probably. I mean, it does give him a lot of armor. Yeah. Okay, so there's the Alexstrasza, but does but it But what is help he going to do? 
is he going to bash execute? Or is he going to save the execute? Yeah, I think he just might... Yeah, bash execute. Oh, you can bash... Oh, but you can bash Baron, of course. Yeah, oh, ba yeah. that's better. That's, that's a lot better. better. That's definitely better. So, the Baron get in. Camps on the board. Uh, Shield slam. I think you use it. Mm. I mean, you have Taskmaster for the execute. I think you just yeah. use the Shield slam. Uh, sure. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. I think the Shield Slam in this case is a better removal than Execute. Yeah, I mean, the thing is you don't want to use your cool Taskmaster. You would have to use your Bash, so why not use your Shield Slam? And also, you know, Shield Slam can get used less when the Fatigue hits the war, and actually, Shield Maiden Something here is happened. pretty clutch yeah. here as well. Shield Maiden, I mean, it's going to get executed, I guess. Oh, Sylvanas, uh, now you wish you had the Shield Slam. Uh, for future, but um, what? Have you seen 100 health in a tournament? The no, I actually haven't. Yeah, 100 What's health that? in a tournament. It's a new record. It's a world record. It's a world record. Ah, we got news. We got inside news from Rackful. He said it's a world record in armor up in a competitive. 100 h 101 HP. In a yeah. But he doesn't run Alex Draza. Like, how does he ever think he's gonna win? Um, like why? <laughs> Like, we thought that this would be a good matchup, but how is he ever going to win without, without Alex Straza in the mirror? Yeah. Because like, what that's is 15 he damage thinking? actually matters a lot. Like, so what is he actually thinking? Wait, do you do this? 70 armor. When was the last time you saw 70 armor? Long time ago. What, wasn't it? First was 50 armor. That's world record. A long, long time. It's not a long time ago. We got confirmed world, world record. World record. Wait. Wasn't it better just like to bash and use her weapon? I mean, the executes, you know that there's Alexstrasza yeah, you and Yeah, you should have for sure done yeah. that, but... You know that there's it Alexstrasza does, it, and it, There's no point in talking about this game anymore. He just lost? I mean, he, he doesn't run Alexstrasza, he lost. Yeah. Like, do you realize how long it would take for him to fatigue with 104 <laughs> HP? You're such an angry person, Powder. <laughs> No, but it just doesn't make sense. Uh, He's gonna steal Grommash, deal, deal with that. Doesn't make sense. No, no, how does he steal it? Deal with that. Execute your own Execute Sylvanas. Execute your own Sylvanas? No, just pass. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not that complicated. Yeah, yeah, it's actually fine, but I mean... It's not that complicated. It's just pass. Just, just pass. pass. You rope and then turn ends and you steal it. So, we'll... Again, hit the world record, right? It would be 76. 106 HP. It's like celebration stream. Oh, man. Chat is hating on me. What now? Feels bad, man. They hate everyone, man. It's okay. No. Don't feel bad. Chat it's hates everyone. Twitch okay. loves Gachigasm. They always love They Gachigasm. love Wreckful. Wreckful is their, like, it's, he's their master. We will not let Wreckful cast. He's bad for the kids. Yeah, he's, he's bad. He's he, a bad influence. He, he teaches people to gamble. That's yeah, not good. That's, that's, that's fun, though. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so do you... I don't know. This is actually oh, pretty wow. awkward. This is actually pretty awkward for RDU. Um, I mean, how do you... Dim, 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 dim. Wasn't it better maybe just like... Hit with Gromash to Sylvanas and then kill Sylvanas, like kill it with your it weapon. Does, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't. execute face and this Clown Fiesta. He just wants more armor, that's the thing. He's trying to he's trying to make his world record even bigger. So now he's at 106. You know, Vortex's goal is to damage face, uh, like to execute face. But he can't bring him down to 29. <laughs> yeah, he can't bring him down to 29. <laughs> That's why you need to play like Straza so you can execute. I guess you sap. you sap this, right? For sure. Um, Separino. Yeah, why, I mean, yeah, why, why would not? you not Why sap? would you not do that? Yeah. And, then, and then do you or play... Dream, not sap. And then well. you play your own Grimash? Yeah, play, no, just play it again. Yeah, just play it again and do 4 damage. Yeah. Just play your own Grimash, man. Show him who's boss. Show him who's boss. The problem is here, he can't... Execute and BGH because he's not gonna have a whirlwind. I mean, for I, th the I think you can just tag and execute, right? Just but tag, execute, and. Like, I, I really don't know what Vortex is thinking about, though. He's, he seems like he's thinking really long and hard about how he's gonna win. 
but how how does he actually do it? He can bash execute here. He's a good man. Yeah. yeah you can do whatever but you like, want. But like, you still lose, right? Because now, yeah. I mean, I mean, actually, no. That's right. Because like, no, uh, he will. He he will have an un un yeah, enraged uh, Gromash. Yeah, he yeah. will. But it's still gonna oh, be enough. Oh, the weapon attack? Oh, I hope he doesn't use the second weapon attack. He will need the, the weapon to kill BGH. No, yeah, yeah. He can't enrage. No, well, that's the thing, right? That's the thing, because if they execute this plate now, you kill the BGH. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you keep it. But, keep but is four, four attack per turn enough, is the question. Yeah, is it enough? I mean, I knew that like the Grommage and un Enrage will stay over, but is it still enough? It's such I a huge... I think it's huge definitely enough. It's it is definitely enough. Like, you, you yourself Whoa. have... Like is over he actually, 60 health. You have I've been over sitting health. here commentating on how there's no chance that he's actually gonna win. People hate you for a reason, Powder. Uh, of course. Yeah, there I you mean, go. That's the reason why. That's the reason You know why. it now. But yeah, you play the Gromash, go face. And actually, Ardu doesn't have a way to deal with it. There's no way he can kill the Gromash. And I think 4 damage is yes. enough. Like every turn, you're like. This fatigue is gonna go for a few turns, so Ardu just loses. I mean, there there must have been better ways for Ardu to do this though, yeah. so that the ground match didn't like survive mm -hmm. in the end. Uh, powder will take an uh, additional, no, not powder. powder. <laughs> yeah, your vortex. Yeah. Uh, vortex will take an additional four damage from the X, but is that enough? Let's do the maths. He's taking five. Oh, that's, that's I'm, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm too tired. No, no. The thing is, just look at it, right? Uh, Pretty much, if you look at the HP, uh, Vortex needs to do 15 damage, of which 15 damage you will do over four turns. Who so took fatigue damage first? Uh, Ardu. Ardu took first, uh, fatigue damage first. Uh, so, Vortex wins. Yeah, looks bad, man, for Ardu. Vortex wins. So, Dream won him the game. Dream, I agree. Because there was no... Uh, damaged Gromash, but he could have, like, BGH'd. Yeah. Five. So attack, tank up. Tank up four. And he gets six, right? Six. Yeah. Yeah, so Vortex. Vortex wins. Fail fish. Clown Fiesta. It comes back to that that you know uh, Vortex kind of used his removals more efficiently, I think, at the beginning of the game. No, it, even that he plays double BGH and somehow he doesn't get to play a BGH against Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. Like there's something has to have gone wrong for that to happen, right? Or am I crazy? Please, please, add you don't rope every turn. No, come on. <laughs> There's nothing to think about. <laughs> Like, why isn't he playing the BG? Yeah, because uh, then he attacks with Grimash and attacks for for 10 every turn. Oh, that's true. It's a powder. That's true. Can I take a nap now, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ardy has to know. That's a lot of fatigue damage. Yep. Still full life, easy. Still, still 30 life. So now he takes 10 damage next turn, right? Uh, no, no, I. Vortex, Vortex 9, 9, but Ardu takes 10. He wins the matchup without Alex. GG. What is 10 fatigue damage? I'm or up. This is just like. The hate Not in Twitch chat is real. We don't even have to like talk about this, right? No, I mean, there's... This is the game, like... Ardu is Ardy, like, Ardy lazy is to gonna, do math I mean, Ardu right? is like, gonna be kicking himself. Like, he knows as well as like anyone else that... Something went wrong in this game. Mm -hmm. For him to lose? Yeah, for you know, him to lose this that, game. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. I mean, Ardu was... I think he was like, just like, lazy to do math. He's sitting with the second BGH right? just like... Thinking to himself, like, how is this even possible? Maybe you know, maybe he's just taking his time, uh, thinking, okay, what am I actually taking next game? Do I pick my war uh, druid? Do no, I pick my hunter? I don't think hunter? so. He's just throwing. Yeah. How much was it now? Twelve. 
Uh, and I think 12 damage. 12, 12 fatigue, fatigue damage. damage. So a new world fatigue. record. He, he, he would take 13. He would take 13 uh, before he died, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's some damage. That's a lot of damage from Fatty. How late is it? Um, do we have time for the next game? <laughs> <laughs> do we have time? I mean, we have Warrior, so probably. So it's going to be another Warrior match. Yeah. Another gonna... Warrior versus Druid. How fun. I just like reversed. How fun. They have like a very similar strategy, both players, they both ban Paladin, they both go with uh, Control Warrior Druid. Yeah, but the difference is the last deck though, Priest and, and Hunter. 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 The Hunter was working out pretty well for Audio so far, he free yeah, out yeah. Ecop. And but yeah. against Control Warrior and uh, Priest it should be a little bit harder, right? It should be a little bit harder. Yeah. Especially with a Face Hunter version. Yeah. No, no, against it's Priest. hybrid. Yeah, it's hybrid. It's hybrid. But the thing is, he like uh, it still has the same strategy. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit different, but hybrid. SM so Arc. Hybrid. Just go face. We don't need to trade. Go face, no space. We are we skipping the mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just get leper gnome, leper gnome, and leper gnome, and leper gnome, and you good. For leper gnome. What is hunter? No, sounds good. All right. Oh, we so have some problems, guys. Yeah. So. Uh, wait with us, but there for the go. time being... Oh, there we go. We there we go. That was fast. But we've seen Warrior tanking up, so I think he's in a, on a good roll right now. Right? Um, <laughs> there has been a wild growth, so the Druid... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, he just threw the Innovate. Man, he missed turn 3 Dr. Boom. Dr. Swag! No, he has... No, no, no. He can, he he has he can boom now. He can boom now. Yeah. Turn 4. I was testing you again, Powder. <laughs> of course. Of course. You, you redeem yourself. Yes. You have to fight against the Hade. Yes. So Finally. we see the Dr. Boom here and it's Vortex? pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's a good a card though. That's a card, yeah. He can shield slam now the Dr. Boom and Dr. Boom is gone. gone. But it's still looking pretty good. Look, this is how Druid wants to play. He wants to play on curve. He wants to be able to interrupt out his big minions uh, for the word to be able to have, like they have to have the removal. And in the end they're not gonna have removal for what's left. And that's how they win, right? Yeah, you never want to be behind them board as a druid. Yeah. So that's why it's here looking is pretty, pretty good for the warrior again. Yeah, the dead spite here is clutch because uh, he can clear the board in over two turns, right? Uh, he has Sylvanas, which is pretty nice. I mean, he has Execute, which is nice, and their Shield Slam. Yep. There's a lot of stuff to do. And this is not exactly what a druid, uh, druid wants to have a bunch of removal. No, he drew like. He had two pretty good minions, then he draws into a swipe and a wrath next two mm. cards. When well, he already has two spells. Yeah. Um, That's pretty unfortunate. Feels bad, man. He did draw into the Lothar, though, which might allow him to push some damage in the future. Uh, but we'll see. That's not what Vortex wants to see. Mm, yeah. Nefarian. We'll that's, a, that's a thing, right? Like, uh, actually, those expensive cards uh, can be pretty annoying. Or so Vortex yeah. if he drops it early, like he did right now. So I like this play. I guess you could have played Sylvanas, but it's super weak to Wrath and Swipe. This is also a little bit weak to Wrath, but the Wrath only allows you to clear the board, but it also kills your own guy. And you get armor, which is nice at least. Yeah, I mean, you get some armor for yeah. sure. The Shade is also late to the party. Yeah. That's one of the best minions against Warrior, just because you get to choose exactly when you want it to come out. And yes. if that's uh, when it's a 5-5, five, 6-6, five, 4-4, six, six, four, four, doesn't really matter. Just I, I really feel like well. Shade is super important in this matchup yeah. as a Druid. It's like more important than anything else. Yeah. And there's a lot of damage coming out from it. Like if anyone like Force of Nature, Savage or combo with it, it's, it's really nice. Okay, so Taskmaster and just armor up. Uh, trying to was this the better than Sylvanas? I think it was, because you have Shield Slam and Execute in hand. So if he decides to trade into your minions, you can Execute. If not, like... And now you don't, now you don't have you a way to proc your Execute, though. Uh, like, your if, if your minions die. But they're not gonna die against Druid. He probably right, wants to get right. more value out of the Sylvanas. And do you need more value, though? Yeah, against Druid, it's like pretty strong usually, but he has two keepers, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he still has two 9-drops. Like, he doesn't really need, like, super good value here. I would have, I probably would have played Sylvanas. Just to, like, 
Like you're at you're at twenty four life, right? Mm. He needs to trade into the Sylvanas. Like so it just saves you. It's basically it saves you five life. So here's the shade. Pretty good down time to slam down the Sylvanas. But now the Sylvanas is gonna be. You're dead to combo. Though. Yeah. If you play Sylvanas now, you just hope your opponent doesn't have a combo. But now now it's the thing. Like you're behind on HP as a warrior against the druid. He has a shade. I mean, I mean uh, he can play he can play low tap, right? Uh, he will most likely not play around yeah. combo. I mean you can execute, right? Yeah, you can execute low tap yeah. then, you're, then he's one it's off. Actually, it's actually fine. You're playing against the combo. Yep. Uh, I mean you can play Sylvanas actually, yeah. Yeah, Sylvanas, for yeah sure. Sylvanas because yeah, definitely. And then you because can, you can save low tap next turn, yeah. This is better. This is Still better. one off. Still one off if he draws force of nature. Yep. That's a wrath. That's a wrath. That's not too bad though. Um, it does allow him to clear the Sylvanas, but does he want to is the question. He might just go super greedy and maybe like you wrath for one. Yeah, wrath for one, hero power and then play Drill Claw. What? Um, no, no, you don't play Drew the Claw. If you Wrath for one here, no, no, you're, you're you going... No, no, you kill the Sylvanas, I think. Don't you? Oh, with the hero power? Yeah, with the hero power, okay. you kill the Sylvanas, and then you play... Now, even as a Drake, is probably better. Um, I mean, it all depends on what you draw. Like, you could have gone super greedy and, like, saved your saved your shade and, like, hoped for the Force of Nature. But, I mean, this is obviously going to be a better play in the long run. Yeah, now he has to just adjust to the draw. He didn't draw the combo. Now he has more million, minions. Yeah. He so can, he so more he draw. clears and plays a minion. And he can draw into the com combo still with his Azure Drake. Yeah. Well, that's also a really good draw, though. Drew to the Claw, Drew to the Claw next turn. Also, I think the charge Drew to the Claw was not bad here. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that. Definitely I can see think that. it's fine, mm -hmm. too. Because, like, at turn 9, you know he plays big bombs like Nefarian and Isera. Yeah. And then you're like under a lot of pressure. He might even go lower tip. But the thing is, the thing is, like I think you're not really expecting now Nefarian or Isra to come up on the board because if they come, uh, your opponent is not playing against the combo. You don't have the combo, but like usually people play around the combo, right? So I think it's actually fine not to play the Rudolf Claw now here because you're the, the nine nine drops are not coming to board now if you can play around it. He did play. He did play around combo last turn. So the question is, do you do it this turn? Probably not, right? You need to get your stuff down. Like you could I th play I think low risky, tap. Hero risky play is better, but yeah, uh, the he play played to win. Last turn. The play to win is probably you see right here. Yeah, I mean, combo was exactly lethal. Mm -hmm. So that's but that makes all his plays awkward now, right? Yeah. Like. Definitely. <laughs> and why why do you play Belcher over Lotep? It also doesn't really make sense. Oh, and the Emperor is really clutch too. The Lotep the oh. Lotep contests the Azure Drake, but the Belcher does not, yeah. and you can still not re remove the Azure Drake. Uh, it was a weird choice. Yeah. And this is by the way insane. Next turn, uh, Ardu can play double Druid of a Coin Charge and Savage Roar. So yeah, it's exactly the same as a Force of Nature Savage Roar. Did yeah. you know that? But you don't need to go. Fun and facts with powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun facts. Fun facts. Okay. So he can't play. I mean, he can play Savage Roar, but it would cost too much mana. So do you just play Double Druid of the Claw? And just. But then you don't have your Force of Nature Savage for combo. Uh, I mean, you can draw your Force of Nature, and then you will have Force of Nature Savage for combo. Right? Nah, but you, uh, <laughs> it's. Like, maybe you don't want to overextend to Brawl. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not the only way you lose here. And also, like, uh, why I like what you well, said I guess here. You, I think you just go face. You don't taunt them, for sure. So you yeah. just you yeah, get, you you get your charge. 8 damage in and just go for it, I guess. Double charge face, all right. He could keep her, but it doesn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. Just make it a little bit worse. I like it. That's pretty good as well. Is he going to save one? Yeah, he saves one. I guess that's just to play around Brawl. I mean, he can always combine it with Savage Roy. It's so cheap now. Yeah, it's gonna. Mm -hmm. It's always gonna do four damage. Yeah, definitely. And he, it's pretty good to play around Brawl. So, uh, it would have been better Ash. in this scenario, though. But Vortex can't know that. Uh, you don't know what your opponent's hand is, obviously. So, how do you know, stupid? Oh, this is the right play. Steel Slam. The Emperor kill the cat. 
And how much is this damage? This is like 4, 6, 8, 12, 13. 13, yeah. Is it? Is it enough? Yeah, it is. Should be, right? Wait. Wait, no, it it's 11. Six, it's eight. 11. Alex 11, 11, yeah. yeah. Sep Alish. Sep, Sep Alish. Alish. There's double force double of nature force of for it, just for fun. Good. And you know what you can do? You can play with the force of nature or the claw in charge as well. Do you know that's that that's sick. 20 damage? That's a lot of damage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> math with powder. <laughs> Let's do some math with powder. Okay. So uh, here, you know you're dead here. Yeah. Probably, you know you're dead. like 99 percent. He was choosing between things and well played. Tough choice. Tough choice. <laughs> Very tough. You played Druid of the Claw. GG Nuri. Pm, right? You play it. Come on. Ah. Uh, GG Nuri. Never mind. Already is a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, sure. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so his hunter is left. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, no, wait. There's the priest. The priest. I was just testing you guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, the priest is left. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will he make the comeback of the ages? Let's hype this up. It's definitely possible. I mean, priest, the new priest isn't that bad against druid. Yep. And I would say it's favored against Hunter, so... Wait, do we know that Vortex, like, what kind of priest he plays? I mean, it's most likely Dragon, dragon Priest. No other priest is that viable right now, right? Yeah. We see Dragons. Uh, he doesn't keep Powered or Shield. Which uh, is probably correct in a oh, lot of matchups. Is that a good hand, Gara? <laughs> Conceit. Conceit. <laughs> Uh, oh. I mean, you can draw one drop. You know, yeah, you know. If you, if you drop, if you draw one drop, I can actually tell you. Chosen, well and chosen. I can Good. tell you exactly oh. his thoughts. Jesus Christ! He, I can tell you exactly his thoughts because his uh, mouse cursor was over the deck. He's like, "What are the odds? What are the odds with this odds? deck to draw like this?" At and least he gets a four drop, right? It, yeah. it happens like every 20 games or something. I mean, the Twilight Guardian is actually going to be quite good. Uh, That's a pretty good. You can good buff it up with Villain Chosen, too. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Emperor. Emperor on turn four? I think it's pretty I mean, it's, it plays right into the Shadow. -ish. Shadow War Dev? Yeah. Mm. That's but, I mean, you still have to play it. Like, I mean, that's pretty. That's, I was about to say this is something that it, uh, had to happen for Vortex, that he innovates out a big minion that dies to death. Yeah. If this would be Druid of the Claw, it's way worse. Yeah, yeah. But like a Doctor, even a Doctor Boom, he can deal with. Yeah. And I mean, it's not that good of a, like cards that he got uh, reduced. Yeah, the Force of Nature Savage Roar is gonna be like turn eight. Yeah, and he only got uh, reduced on one of them, so uh, exactly. it's still pretty good. It's, I mean, it's good, obviously, but it's not the same as getting reduced on both, so you can play double combo. But double Drake Taunt is pretty sick, especially especially with Valen's Chosen if they yeah. survive. And there's, yeah, no, there's keeper. no keeper? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. He really needs a minion here, or do you? Something what bigger, does he get? Through the claw, something like that. Ooh. That's but it's not a correct one, but I mean, he can use it next turn. No, he can't, because the Darnassus is going to die, right? Ex oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, unless he decides to swipe and... Trade your shade. shade. But then you're losing shade, which is really important in this matchup as well. I mean, I think I think you have to decide right. what's no, more you, valuable. You just force. You just force and kill it. Go face. Oh, of course. Do you, though? I mean, force you're, of nature... You're so I'm always. I'm we're, we're sitting here thinking about the stupidest things, and Gara is just like, "What are they talking about?" I'm just keeping quiet. I don't want to interrupt you guys. You're a nice guy. Like also when you said that 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 Vortex uh, will obviously lose the warrior match, I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna." Yeah, I, I thought just, like, I'm I, just I, gonna I, wait. You guys. I thought the same see. thing. I thought right, Ardu. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. no, no. All these boys. No, no. I thought Ardu is gonna win that match. I, I mean, I mean, Vortex is gonna win. I just got mixed up now. Okay, both will win. You're, look, both, you're, both, you're both, both very optimistic. Either you person. win or you win. I kind of like this ma like better if he kills it with shade. Oh, I don't like this at all. Because next turn you cannot play your Asian of Floor and what you're gonna do later. I like Garas play the most. Yeah, I like Garas play the most too. I'm not even trying to suck up. <laughs> Damn. No. Damn, so. Draw more taunts. It's very important also to draw the Rimrus agent and then you combine it with, uh, combine it with Valence Chosen as a wall. Uh, now, Shredder is okay, I guess. Uh, Ishinal Floor would be better, though. 
That's for sure. Yeah, Shredder, your power fast. You keep the shade, right? He trades. Oh. Do you like this? Interesting. I don't really like this. Cure power face? No, no, no. He tra he traded a shade. I'm not sure about that. Nobody knows. Yeah, Nobody knows. Nobody knows RDU's logic. Uh, Twilight Lope is good though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you definitely it's do this rather than Coin Valens, right? Yep. Because Coin Valens is really, really open to Keeper. Uh, on the other hand, this double is pretty good. Well, double or is really good. Uh, it can draw him a lot of cards, and I mean, Priest is not going to kill you in no. like few turns, right? So you have time to draw those cards and do the value game. Actually, you want to actually just kill the priest pretty quickly. Yeah, you want to, but like, because I mean, if, if you have a chance, like the double lore isn't too bad. Druid is one of those classes that can't really deal with a 412 body. But there, there might be the dream scenario that he can actually just ignore it. Sylvanas it. Right. Uh, not fucking ignore it. You can't ignore it. Uh, you can silence it. Anyway. Sarah, you just lost the game. No, if you silence it, you but can ignore it. What do you think we do you here? You just keep her it. It's a 412. Do we Shadow Word Death and uh, Shadow Word Pain? Yep, sounds pretty good. And heal and again. And you can even Valen Chosen if you feel like it, but I think heal is better. No, yeah. there's no point. There. Interesting exactly. tech choice of playing one Shadow Word Pain. It's not too common in Dragon Priest. It's mostly for the Freeze Mage matchup, right? Mm, freeze Mage and against Droid, it's pretty decent as well. Against right. Darnesses and stuff I like that. I don't, I'm not a Priest player, so... Also, yeah, I, don't I don't play Priest at all. I play the living crap out of Priest. And Chilmo is also like one of those cards that are not really played too much lately. Just because it sucks. <laughs> Wait, so you play Priest a lot? Yeah. Yep. Pretty more than anyone else. Well, except Zet a lot. Uh, hands yeah, down. He, he, plays, Pavel, he plays a lot. Hen hands down, Zet a lot. And Pavel. Pavel is like main Priest guy as well. Kinda. Main Priest. Priest, yo. Uh, you can Sylvanas here, but then uh, how does that work? Because that came first. How does that yeah. work? That doesn't. Uh. Feels a Batman. Yeah, you just have to force clear. Force clear. GG. Next game, Sylvanas comes out. Oh, Sarah no, comes no, out. No, no, Sylvanas is good, right? What do you mean? If you play your own Sylvanas. Then. Yeah, then he steals just back what you steal. It's more like a cool story. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, because Vortexes will steal first, but there's nothing on board, and then you steal one minion on the board. No, Sylvanas you don't is good play here. Sylvanas. No, don't play Sylvanas. You force Why not? Nature Savage. Why not? Don't play Sylvanas. You force Nature Savage, you're going to clear all this crap. But explain me why you want, don't, don't want to play Sylvanas. What? Like, you take one of his minions if you play Sylvanas. Straight up. Straight up, you take one of his minions. Okay, let's see what happens. Someone agrees. So, so, something will happen here. And, and Someone agrees. Let's just play Sarah and go face. No, you don't do that. I was kidding, man. <laughs> it's hard to tell if you're, if you're kidding, man. <laughs> Troll. Okay, so Valen Chosen. Yeah, this is actually really awkward for Vortex. What the hell? He wasn't even thinking about the blunt shows in the enemy Sylvanas so it doesn't die. The fuck is uh, that? Oh, he just did that. Yeah. Oh. He, oh. Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah, he's that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Now. You see? It's not so smart to play Sylvanas since that shit. I mean, you can't really expect. <laughs> yeah, you can. Obviously, the player on oh, that. You obviously, <laughs> obviously, obviously. Play around, obviously play around this, of course. I mean, that was a pretty sophisticated play right there. Mm -hmm. I liked it. You guys are such plebs. I liked it. So, swipe here for Sylvana. Sylvana's dice. Why wouldn't you keep her? No, pretty, pretty actually uh, impressive play by Vortex there. Yeah. And yeah. of nature. Clear. But it's then comes out the Sarah. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it gets silenced. It's a 4-12 on the board. And he needs to use... Uh, Perfect draw. Four mana for it. He will always be able to utilize the Cleric. The Cleric. With the 4-12 body. Yeah, for and, you still, and you still have to silence it. Dream is pretty good against Druid, right? 
Like yeah, for that's a really oh, good Dr. card, Swag. Actually. Dr. Swag. But you cannot play his Dr. Swag right now. Do Why can not? You? Can you? Of course you can. You have Force of Nature you Savage Roll. Actually, actually, yeah, you have Force of Nature Savage Roll in hand. You yeah, can like always that. play Dr. Swag. Is it green? Yeah, play it. Sure. Except you don't have the mana to play it. <laughs> then you can't play it. Yeah, that's why if it's green, you can play it. Uh, there's a Wild Grow. Uh, Ardu is going to draw. What is he looking for now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> That was not no, a really no, interesting card. He just drew because he will play Dr. Swag and it's better to hero power. Mm -hmm. Better than hero power. Like that innervate is pretty good though. It just means that he almost any time that uh, Druid draws the second... Second Savage Roar, he can double combo, 22 damage. Or not now, because he's going to clear this here. This is pretty good. Actually, he just changes his playstyle from... He thinks he can't kill the opponent with combo anymore. He doesn't have a shade or anything. And he has Dr. Boom. He saw death already. A lot of priests only play one death. And then he couldn't just force it to a value game because he has a Zudrig as well. Yeah, both both deaths have been used. He used the first one on the innervated uh, Emperor and the second one on the Ancient of Lore. Oh yeah, perfect. So Dr. Boom will survive. Yeah. So that play was definitely a good one by RDO. So this is actually pretty awkward because, I mean, you want to play Shalmo just to get some board presence, but on the other hand, if you play it and you don't draw into another dragon, you will not have Black Wing Corruptor uh, with this effect. Um, you have to play the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, you still have to play it, right? Yeah. Also for the Cleric, you want to utilize on your cl uh, Cleric. You need to draw cards. If you play this, that's like when it weighs for a Druid to kill a Corruptor. It feels a bad man. Both plays feel bad man. He's, so playing, he's, he's playing around double corruptor. combo. Mm -hmm. But he could have healed himself I mean, with Shomo. Ch 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 Chomo has a taunt, right? No, Stop. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Has of course, of course. Don't don't say powder, please. <laughs> don't say <set> powder. <laughs> Abusement of powder. I mean, yeah. you can double keeper and uh, shredder if you want to, really. Uh, this boom is better, right? Just Big no, double shredder. keeper, double keeper, and shredder seems good. I no, mean, he has no more combo. As, as, as a Drake, boom <laughs> is better. Yeah, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah no. That's 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 just better. Yeah. It would get pretty wrecked arena by light bomb. Mhm. Mm but I mean, the light bomb wasn't really in the hand of opponent. I guess you can take Drake. Well, because Adu knows yeah. that his magical wizard powers. No, 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 magical but like, but wizard he, but powers. But he would play it earlier, wouldn't he? No, 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 not no, really. No, 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 he would have drawn the second side, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, by it's the way, yeah. Bad, the, thing, the thing that uh, Powder said, like, last turn, right? If you wouldn't do that, now he would have double Savage Roar combo. Yeah. So... I don't know. But you can't know that you Yeah, you can't draw know, it, so. exactly. It's like, he would have, like, two turns to do it. If he wouldn't draw it in two turns, he would just be dead. So, why risk it for a biscuit? So is he going for Holy Nova? I guess. Holy Nova Azure Drake. Holy Nova Azure Drake, it is. Um, Bombs for five. Not the worst. There's the light bomb. Yeah. I wonder how many cards does Druid have in his deck, right? Because he already played like double two Azure Drakes, double lore. Uh, there can I mean, be still, It's still gonna be. Quite a few. It's mm -hmm. only like, like eight, it's only seven? turn ten. It's turn eleven now, or turn ten? Yeah, t turn eleven, I think. Okay. Yeah, priest is twelve, and druid has. Uh, yeah, we can't see. Unfortunately. Double keeper. So if he draws a uh, dragon, he's still looking decent, I would say. Do you agree, Gara? Dragon sounds pretty good, but. That works as well. That's probably better and then now draw a dragon. Yeah, like just throw a dragon now. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Uh, oh. This is, uh, the, I, there actually isn't that many dragons in Vortex's deck right now. Like, he already played Isera, he played both of his as the Drakes, uh, he played... Still gonna tank some damage, though. Yeah. Guess one Twilight Warp. Yeah, one Twilight Warp. There's not that many dragons still. Uh, but Light Bomb is going to be useful no matter what in the future. Yeah, for sure. He still so, needs to trade 
He goes uh, Savage Roar, right? Least, yeah. yeah. But do you tank it with your face? You're playing Priests after all, so uh, I guess I think you, you do. do. Yeah. Exactly what you said. Priests not gonna kill you fast, so might as well tank it with your face and be more safe around light bombs. And next turn you have two, four, eight, nine damage on board. So you would definitely play at least one more minion, right? Because mm. right now you have nine with your yeah. hero power. Right now, I'd use considering to play around Holy Nova, around the second Holy Nova. Yeah. Me like. Okay. That saves him. Right? It saves two damage to his face, so yeah. that should be fine. You get the keeper. Yep. Um, he could also just dream he the can, Shredder. He can dream Shredder. I think, I think you kind of want... Uh, I mean, two Dora Claws were played. No. Were they? How many Dora Claws were played? Uh, there's oh. still... No. Not a single one. Not a single one, right? No. So... You probably... Yeah. yeah, you probably have to. Have to dream this. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And now next turn he's going to probably get good value out of his Northshire. Hopefully draw into a dragon so he can play his... Uh, Agent. You get a taunt with it. Yeah. Okay, so there's another as a Drake. Um, seems like Ardu has like five cards left ish. Maybe less. Yeah, it's pretty low. But low tap is pretty good pick up here. Do you just play low tap and go face? Sounds good to me. Yeah. You play around light bump. It's perfect. That's actually a really clutch draw, when you think about it. But almost every card in his deck is now a clutch draw. He has both Druid of the Claws, he has one more Force, he has... Lower Tap. Yeah. That's not what you wanted to see. It might actually really be that he has only one Dragon left in his deck. Yeah, that's one small a whelp, right? It's like 12% mm -hmm. to draw it. Okay, so he's... Probably going to try to draw into. You have to. Something. Yeah, you have to draw into Dragon, right? That way you can still play your Taunt and you can play your Blackwing Corruptor. Uh, yeah, and you can still kill the kill the Lothab if it happens. Yeah. So you just go for it. And is Come it a dragon? dragon? It's not. You would see it. Mm. Okay, so this is probably the game. That's th that is the game. I mean, he can just like play his minions. So he's like, I wish sick. I had a dragon. Yeah. But that's not the case. Ardu is relieved, it seems like. Mm -hmm. and Pretty happy with himself. And he's going to win 3 1. I'll go through the group A. This is group A, right? Uh, This is group B, I believe. Gru group B, okay. He's going to go through group B uh, without a loss. Yeah, first place. First place. So, better seeding for top 16. Sounds good. Yep. Congratulations to you. Really well played, um, especially in the last series. Mm -hmm. um, he played also, I think, the Warrior matchup really well, even though he ended up, you know. Yeah, I think I think the force of the <laughs> Savage Roar was pretty clutch. Um, I don't know, okay. Yeah. Like because the way he removed his threat immediately. Um, Do we have a nice interview? We have actually. Oh, it seems yeah. like it. Yeah, I'll just go and get Ardu here. See ya. Ardu. How do you feel, champ? Do you hear me? Uh, yeah, I hear you. I know that you like talking, Adio, so let's go through <laughs> the Warrior game from your perspective. What was the, like, the, like your win strategy, basically? Okay, so I had a really good plan, and uh, I couldn't stick to it because I didn't know the exact deck list of my opponent. I expected Alex Traza, and that took me out of surprise when I didn't see he had Alex Traza. And I played it really, really badly in the last turns, but I think my... my Game was really good until then. So yeah. in the Warrior Mirror, I just want to go to Fatigue and win on Fatigue. Yeah, this is what I thought, like, that you didn't see his games because you played at the same time. He played, like, a really greedy Warrior with, like, Nexus Champion and, and Nefarian and stuff. And you played, like, early 
uh, you decided to to go like to to fatigue. You didn't draw with Acolyte early, but you had like aggressive, like an aggressive board, and he was like very low in HP. But you played from the beginning to go to fatigue, and I thought like, uh, is that really the way you want to play? Like with his greedy warrior decks. So I thought you didn't see the deck. Um, um, but he played earlier. I threw the Acolyte in the Mulligan. I just don't want to draw. Yeah. Like, my deck is supposed to beat every other warrior. I have double BJH, as you could see. Yes. And uh, I think that no matter how greedy his deck is, if I would have played correctly, I would have won that game. Uh, the misplay was made when he played the Krolta's Master. I was greedy enough to play my Gromash and kill it. Uh, I didn't really expect Sylvanas in a deck that has Nexus Champion. Um, yeah, I, mean, I was like, like, okay, I saw the Nexus Champion. He probably doesn't have Sylvanas. And then... I just played the Gromash. I should have calculated the damage while leaving the Krolt as master, maximum damage that he can deal to me, and uh, I think that I would have won. Since it was very, very close while he was dealing four per turn. With yeah. two per turn, I should have definitely Yeah, you won. were ahead yeah. on life by a lot, also on, on fatigue. Yeah. Yeah. I just played it badly in the last turns, but I, I think I played okay until then. Yeah. I stayed to my game plan. I just didn't want to draw with Acolyte. I, I drew only when he drew because my deck was supposed to beat him. Probably that was also a mistake. I should have just not drawn at all. I could have done that, like not playing shield block and uh, just being super greedy. But uh, afterwards I had to... I don't know. It also looked really well for you till he played his Sylvanas. Then it was really awkward for you from then. You had like Romash on board and weapon and then... It went to, yeah, to shit from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but afterwards, I think I played correctly, right, in yes, other matchups. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. played really well. Also, Definitely. the Druid game, your decisions, how, like how you played this out, he did also like some, some, some good plays with his, with his, um, how he stole your Sylvanas. I was afraid the... of Cabal all game. Like, Cabal is such a powerful card versus yes. Druid. Like, when he played the Blackwing Corruptor, the best play probably would have been uh, double Cabal Innerve Shredder. But, uh,. <laughs> Uh, d double Keeper, Inner Ray Shredder, sorry. Yeah. Because it puts up a really strong board, but if, if I get Cabaled, I'm in a spot where I don't really want to play Dr. Boom because the Keeper trades really well into the Boom bots. And by playing Dr. Boom, even if he has uh, Holy Nova, which he had, it's still like, eh, okay. Yeah, you still played really yeah. well. You played around second Holy Nova as well. Congratulations to you. I think you deserved also to be first in uh, the group. And for sure. you're going to see also the, um, the second match, right? Or did they play? Um, I, don't, I, don't um, know. I don't know. They're going to play now. Losers. Oh, Eloise Eloise versus, versus, versus Echo. Echo. There you go. And then the winner versus uh, Vortex. Yes. It's a really hard group. Like uh, I'm so happy I won. Now I can like chill a bit and... Uh, yeah, get my, take, uh, take it easy tomorrow, tomorrow is off. scout. Yeah, yeah. Whew. That's it's great. Good. It's a great event. Great, like, great place, great apartment, great games. And yeah, what is there to say? We're going to go into a break, I guess. A uh, short break, it seems like. They're, e Cup and Elise are getting ready, so shouldn't be too long. Just sitting down, we're going to hear some cool music. I, I hope maybe some Brotherman Bill. Depends <laughs> on the chat. And yeah, thank you Congrats. for watching and uh, be back soon. <laughs> 